Good morning, Positive Astros. The time is now 825. Today is Friday, February 28th, 2020. My name is Amani. And my name is Caroline. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Channel, Channel 5 News. Thought for the day. Begin with the end in mind. Always have a plan. Now over to Lucy with the Pledge of Allegiance and the school's pledge. Will you please stand? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge today to do my best with a great attitude, I will progress. I promise to obey the rules and own my choices each day in school. I'll respect myself and others too and work hard to constantly improve. I am committed to learn all I can. I am in charge of my life's plan. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Lucy. Today's announcements, Friday, February 28th, fourth grade field trip. Friday, Spirit Day, so wear your Neil Armstrong t-shirts or the colors red and white and your uniform bottom. Try your best today and every day. Now over to Mr. Butzel. Good morning, Positive Astros. Guess what today is? Today is Friday! Yay, we made it through the full week. And, guys, I looked yesterday, and I'm pretty sure almost everybody on campus has taken an AR test for the month of February. No, 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 no. you can't stand like thunder. Oh, well, I didn't know that was her thunder. <laughs> I'm really excited. Anyway, our word, our word for this week, all week, has been fairness, right? So, next week we have a big competition. Huge, all right? Huge competition. The Chick-fil-A challenge is next week. So all week, you have to make sure that you eat Chick-fil-A and you say vote for Neil. However, at no time are we to talk badly about any other school because that's not being fair, all right? We want to play by the rules. And when we play by the rules, we are always respectful and kind. So we're going to be super respectful and kind, OK? So if they do something amazing, we clap for them. We say, good job, way to go. Because that's what we do in fairness. That's good sportsmanship, right? And we want to show good sportsmanship. We're team players. We're all part of the same community. We all love you guys, all right? And so we really want to make sure we are demonstrating our fairness because you guys are positive astro re leaders and you're going to vote for Neil. Do, 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 do. Vote for Neil. Do, 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 do. Vote for Neil. Pie Hazel Tyne, do, 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 do. Pie Hazel Tyne, do, 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 do. Pastor Butzel, do, 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 do. Pastor Butzel. Positive Astros, make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Now we're going to do it. Mr. Sir Butzel, I can't believe you let the cat out of the bag. I am so excited to be here because I want to share something with you. We have been counting words red, Mrs. Um, Sir Butzel. How many years would you say? Seven? Oh, yeah. That's Seven or eight, eight maybe? Yeah. And every month we have a goal that 100% of our students in our school will take an AR test. So guess what happened yesterday? What? Anybody want to guess? Girls? Everyone did? 100%, including every single one of our kindergarten students, have Woo! taken an AR Woo! test. tell you I had to hunt a few people down not gonna lie to make sure they took a test had to make sure they came and ate some lunch with me in the office we had a great little chat about being proactive readers and reading before the last couple days of February if you know what I mean but also so I am so incredibly proud that means that every single class will earn their AR award for the month of February and just so you know Today is the last day that we count any data for AR, for iReady, for February. So Monday, I will pull all this information together to let you know where we stand for the Traveling Vision Award. So with that being said, I want to give a big shout out to Mrs. Grimsley's kindergarten class. I looked two days ago, Mrs. Grimsley, 
I think you are giving Mrs. Bailey, I'm just, I, I, I'm not just throwing this out here, but I want you to know, I think Mrs. Grimsley's class is coming after the popsicle party. They reached over 100,000 words in the month of February. So just letting you know, uh, Mrs. Grimsley's class has come out of nowhere. So Mrs. Grimsley's class, pat on the back. Mrs. Bailey, you, you, I know you're working hard too, and I know all of the kindergarten classes are. So I'm so excited for our kindergarten friends. Keep up the great work, kindergarten teachers. You're doing amazing. And then I noticed something else. What? What did I, you notice? I was looking at all the classes, and many, many classes have read over a million words in the month of February. No way. Uh -huh. A million words? Yep. In second grade and in third grade. We expect fourth and fifth grade to do that. Yeah. But when you start seeing second and third graders do that, that is pretty amazing. So. Wait, wait. Yeah. How many classes do we have on campus? About 43. And are our, our AR book bash words read out main bold? Like 30 like million words. Oh, so we, we should are totally going to crack that goal. Well, I well I don't know about that. I think we're totally going to crack. We'll that goal. see. We'll see because there's still a week left. This is the last weekend of the contest. We know this, right? You know what? I see some people walking around campus with six or seven books in their hands, and they're just not looking pretty, carrying the books. They're not pretending to read. They're actually reading those books. So kids are on fire for reading, and you know what that means? You're learning a whole bunch new vocabulary in your heads, and that makes you a better reader overall. So teachers, we know that the number one predictor of reading success is the teacher, and the number one motivator is the teacher. So thank you for motivating our Positive Astros to read. Great job. Friday, that's today, next Friday, March 6th, last day of the AR contest. You heard it here first. It's over. That means you need to read all the way till next Friday. And then I think we'll give you a week off for spring break coming up after that. After the AR Book Bash, after March thing. I think you've worked so hard, we're going to give you a break. What do you think? How much do you want to read? Seven day vacation, maybe eight day vacation. What do you think? Well, I'm still going to Only if read. you do your best. We'll give you a, a little vacation. Yeah. So that's coming up. So just be ready for that. Now. Here's the big thing that's happening. Most of our positive assets do a great job every day. But there's something going on. Hmm. I have some boys and girls putting their hands on each other. One of the major rules we have at school is keep our hands and feet to ourselves. We never hurt another human being. We never speak badly about another human being. Positive Astros are kind people. So please, please, Positive Astros, as Mrs. Sturbutzel says every day, make it a great day or not. That choice is always yours to be a good person. So again, just a reminder, if someone says something unkind to you, tell your teacher, walk away, don't do anything about it. So shake your head if you understand what I'm saying. So teachers, please review that with your boys and girls and talk about the expectations on the playground and um, in the cafeteria and whenever we are walking back and forth and the way we behave in specials as well, okay? Have a great weekend. Boys and girls, do your best and keep reading. Back to the anchors. Thank you, Mr. Butzel. Thank Butzel. you, Mr. Butzel and Ms. Talon. This next week's announcements. Monday, March 2nd. This is the last week of the Era Book Bash Contest. Monday begins Spirit Week and Chick-fil-A School Child Needs Week. Monday is Dress Like a Toy Story character. Tuesday is Dress Like a Cow Day. Wednesday is like Wednesday is Workout Wednesday and Thursday is Throwback Thursday. Friday is Course Challenge Night at Chick Fil A. Have a great day, Positive Astros. Now over to Miss Morrison. All right, thank you. Friday, yeah, next Friday, a week from today, Chorus. We're sending home little notes today, re tiny reminders. We're sending them home so you can uh, make sure you plan to be there next Friday, a week from today, when we're at Chick-fil-A starting at 6 o'clock for that special school challenge. And we're going to be doing uh, that, and then we're going to be singing with the other three schools. And um, we practiced some of the songs yesterday. It's going to be awesome. So chorus, we're going to have the most chorus kids there. Hopefully I need all of you there so we can really, really have a good amount of people. And uh, thank you for supporting that. Also, <coughs> looks like it's National School Breakfast Week. And it says, on Monday, we will start National School Breakfast Week. 
Um, our theme is out of this world. Breakfast is your jump start for the day. Without breakfast, you will lack energy. So breakfast gives you good energy. Make sure you go to Champs Cafe every day and get your free breakfast. And out of this world, delicious. Monday's breakfast is mini pancakes or choice of cereal with a whole grain rich muffin. You get fruit, you get 100% fruit juice and low fat milk. Comes with your meal every day. So don't forget you get free oatmeal every morning also with your breakfast. So start every morning right. Make sure you get a good breakfast for, for first class learning. Um, we hope to see you Monday at Champs Cafe for a delicious breakfast. So that was from Champs Cafe. We have in the studio, I want to say my announcement next. Do I have K-Kids? Come on over, K-Kids. Tell us your announcement, my K-Kids. Hello. Hi, my name is Delary. And my name is Calvin. We are K-Kids here to talk about K-Kids International Week. Today we are going to talk about random acts of kindness. What is a random act of kindness? A definition of random acts of kindness is doing some, something nice, some nice things for another person without being asked and without ex expecting anybody, anything in re in return. So an example of a random act of kindness is if my friend drops a pencil, you you can pick it up for them? Yes, that is a random act of kindness. And also, is it like if my friend's being bullied and they can't stand up for themselves, I stand up for him? Yeah, that's, that is an another random act of kindness. Thank you very much for that message, K-Kids. Random act of kindness today. Try to think of a random act of kindness you can do. All right, that's a great idea. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good to see you. Thank you. All right, I have birthday people. Come on over, my birthday people. Here's Look at all these birthday people. Wow. If your birthday is, if you're here for your birthday, come on over and come, come line up right here. Hi, sir. What's your name? Curtis. This is Curtis. Who's your teacher? Miss Provencal. And how old are you turning, Curtis? Nine. Nine. Happy birthday. You may go to the end of the line. Come over here, birthday friend. What's your name? Nola. Say it again. Nola. Nola. Who's your teacher? Miss Peeple. And how old are you turning? Six. Six. Finally six. That's great. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, no. That's my five minutes till class time. Yes. Oh, your name now. Tegan. Hi, Tegan. Who's your teacher? Um, Miss Bindler and Miss Richardson. And how old are you going to be? Eight. Are you eight today or this weekend? Eight. This weekend, eight years old right here. You're looking at eight years old. All right, come over here, my friends. I need my I need my uh, person in kindergarten right here. And we're going to do chicken dancing. Get ready. Watch the people. Get ready. Put your hands up. Get set. Go. <laughs> Happy, happy birthday. Get a shell and a dragon here. You know what they look like, right? And have a wonderful day. Get your book. You know where to get your book, Curtis? Can you show the other girls where to get their book? Thanks. Happy birthday, the birthday club. And now back to the anchors. Thank you, Miss Morrison. Lunch for today. Chicken filet on bun, lettuce, tomato, and pickle, baby carrots with dip, smiley potatoes, choice of fruit, milk. Also, please note that the non-meat entrees are available through Lent on Friday. F breakfast for Monday, cereal with muffin or pancakes, oatmeal, fruit, low-fat milk. Now we're to Lucy with the weather report. Today, partly cloudy, 67 degrees high, 48 degrees low, 0% chance of rain. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, 69 degrees high, 41 degrees low, 0% chance of rain. Now back to the anchor. Thank you, Lucy. Birthdays for today, Curtis Clark. Happy birthday. Now over to Lucy for the Daily Science Journal. Answer from yesterday. An equ equinox. equinox occurs when the position of position. the position of the sun is exactly over the Equator. The science word of the day is exophere. Yeah. Definition: the highest layer of Earth. in the atmosphere. atmosphere. Science sentence of the day: the temperature is extremely cold in the atmosphere. Exosphere. exosphere. Science question of the day: how many layers are there in 
Earth's atmosphere. Now back to the anchors. Thank you, Lucy. Have a great weekend, Positive Astros. And, and thank, thank you for watching Channel 5 News. We will, will see you again on Monday. Have a fabulous Friday and a safe weekend. Bye.